Hello everyone, welcome to Little Officers. Please subscribe and press on the bell icon for regular updates. See, in the last video when I was doing the analysis of the Anthropology Paper 1, Mains 2021, there I have told you that I will be coming up with model answers soon. So this is first of that series. Here I have, I am providing two model answers for 10 markers. So let us begin with the first question. The very first question is about animism and deep ecology. Like I said, here the approach will be, we will be giving a brief introduction about what is animism. See, it is the belief that objects and places, all the creatures, they all possess a distinct spiritual essence. All of them, they have, you can say, inherent worth. All of them are animated. All of them are, they have life. Such a belief is called animism. And as a result of such belief, those people, they start worshipping them. Okay. See, according to E.B. Taylor, who is regarded as the founding father of anthropology, modern anthropology, here in his book, Primitive Culture, he has, you know, he has, he is one of the classical evolutionists. He has provided the evolutionism, culture, evolutionism under which he has studied on religion as well. So in that process, he has given that, see the simplest form of religion, it begins with your animism. So this is, according to him, animism is the minimum definition of religion. Okay, so that we can provide it here. Later, we can say, see this, this doctrine, it perceives that all the plants, animals and their dwelling places, suppose say a mountain, jahan par pahad hai, ya river hai, ya koi forest area hai, ya koi plain hai, even they also possess life. Theke? They also have inherent worth. Ye wala manna hai, ye wala belief hai. As a result of it, all of them, they are animated ones and they are alive. So, they are so powerful, hence we should worship them. That is the motive or concept behind this animism. For example, if you see ancient times may or before that or if you take proto-cultures or you know ancient cultures like Indus Valley Civilization and all, those people, they used to worship the nat natural forces like you no know, rainfall, or it may be oceans, or it may be neem tree, people tree, or unicorn, or a buffalo. Such animals and plants and processes, they have been worshipped. Even earth has been worshipped. Now, this is the concept of animism. Now, let us look at deep ecology. What is the meaning of deep ecology? It is a ecocentric concept which believes, which emphasizes that all the living things, they have inherent worth. So, whatever the irrespective of their utility they have inherent worth so they need to be protected they need to be conserved and they need to be preserved for the balance in the ecosystem so if you can uh, see for example giving living entity status recently many high courts Uttarakhand high court they have given living entity status to a river a uh, animal kingdom entire planets so that means even they they can execute their rights Okay. So here we are treating them on par with the humans. That means all the lives, irrespective of whether it is human, like higher form or lower form, all of them, they have the equal worth and equal treatment should be given to them. They also have the right to live. They also have the right to enjoy their life. This wala concept ko emphasize karta hai deep ecology. Now look at it. Ye dono ko kaise hum link karne wale hai. So that is what? The key in this question, animism and deep ecology. If you look at it, both of these concepts, they highlight the inherent worth of all living things and both of them, they emphasize that these living things must be protected and animism, it goes a step ahead and says that they have, like they are so powerful, we must worship them. So that is where they see when something, when you are worshipping something means you are believing in that and you will do anything to protect it. 
तो उतना लेवल तक चला जाता है यहाँ पर एनिमिज्म में तो दैट इज द रीजन वाई सम ऑफ द पीपल यू कैन यू कैन गिव हियर लाइक लेटर से द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बिस्नोई कम्युनिटी ठीक है बिस्नोई कम्युनिटी सी टू दैम दी ट्रीज और ओके खेजरी ट्री यू कैन गिव दिस एग्जाम्पल्स और द्लैक बक ठीक है दीज आर वेरी मच सैक्रेट टू दैम दे वर्शिप दैम दे इवन लाइक दे लिव इन हारमोनी विद दैम सो दिस इज लिविंग इन हारमोनी विद अदर लाइफ फॉर्म्स दैट इज दी नो कॉन्सेप्ट here we are going to emphasize under deep ecology theek okay? hai and these two concepts go hand in hand in the sense that both of them protect and conserve and you no know, conserve all the creatures and ecosystem that is the reason why these two concepts are intertwined theek okay? hai now here what is the present relevance that is what we need to look at present relevance dekho as the earth nowadays we know that global warming climate change and sixth mass extinction is going on because of this anthropogenic activity as a result of it day by day many plants and animals they are disappearing from the earth so many of them are being threatened so under those circumstances both the concepts deep ecology and animism both of them are going to enhance the conservation of these species plant as well as animal species not only that even you are you know various land forms it may be plains water bodies dekho water bodies wetlands wagera jo hai wahan par encroachment ho raha hai and they are disappearing so unko bhi yahan par kyunki animism jo believe karta hai even rivers or water bodies they also have life they also have their like they are also very sacred they also have some souls residing in them they must be worshiped so they will start conserving it so that is the reason why this particular concept of deep ecology as a link with animism so if you can promote if you can understand the people's behavior and their customs why they are you no know, worshiping these uh, plants or animals or water bodies or whatever it is then we can apply those concepts in the deep uh, deep ecological study and the concepts of environment so which will ensure the better protection and conservation of such resources so that is how we need to approach this question see here in conclusion also i have written the same points okay see for this the knowledge and practices of animism and understanding of the people's behavior who practice this animism see uh, definitely ensure better conservation of the earth hence applying these concepts of animism and deep ecology to the environmental studies is the need of the hour is tarike se conclude kar rakha hai okay so this is for 10 marks that is the reason why there is a limitation on the word we have to write it in 150 words then the second question for today's discussion is historical particularism and franz bauhaus see here it is a direct question so almost like pretty static material is available dekho it's simply i'm going to give the summary of entire thing first you give the introduction in the introduction what do you mean by historical particularism okay anthropological theories unit 6 se aaya hai the it is a connotation kyunki isse pehle franz bauhaus se pehle jo bhi theorists jo the anthropologists jo the they were emphasizing on evolution they were emphasizing on diffusion they were focusing on parallel evolution they were saying that each and every culture goes through the same line theek okay? hai so if you are finding various cultural elements that's because those societies are at that stage of development with respect to their culture that is the reason why you are getting these variations once they also develop all of them are going to tend to this developed form of or civilized form of culture so there is they were talking about psychic unity of humans so with that idea Franz Bauhaus he did not agree to that idea he has provided an alternative to this through this topic of historical particularism yahan par inhone kya kaha tha according to this <coughs> each society is a collective representation of its unique historical past agar koi particular society mein culture kaise vary karta hai that depends on what that depends upon the unique historical aspects of that particular society's past 
से वहां पर क्या कस्टम्स फॉलो करते थे क्यों फॉलो करते थे व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेसेस हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड देयर व्हाट काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस हैव हैपेंड सो बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दिस द पर्टिकुलर कल्चर ऑफ दैट सोसाइटी इज गोइंग टू बी मोल्डेड दैट इज व्हाट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म इज सेइंग सो हियर ही वाज लाइक डिसप्रूविंग और ही वाज नॉट अप्रूविंग दैट थीरी ऑफ क्लासिकल एवोल्यूशनिस्ट एवोल्यूशन का थीरी अप्रूव नहीं कर रहा था ही वॉज से इसके लिए डेटा नहीं है वी कैनॉट वी कैनॉट कंक्लूसिवली से दैट वॉट एवर द थीरी ऑफ क्लासिकल एवोल्यूशनिज्म इज से इज ट्रू सो इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इम्पीरिकल डेटा वॉट ही सेड इज यू हैव टू डू द एक्सटेंसिव स्टडी एक पर्टिकुलर सोसाइटी को ले लो उसके ऊपर एक्सटेंसिव स्टडी करो उनका पास से रिलेटेड ऑल डायमेंशन कवर करो देन यू विल बी एबल टू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड वाई दैट पर्टिकुलर कल्चर इज देयर इन दैट सोसाइटी सो दैट इज वॉट हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम ईच कल्चर ईच सोसाइटी द कल्चर ऑफ द सोसाइटी इट कुड रीच टू द सेम लेवल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्थ्स Not necessarily the same path followed by other cultures. ठीक है यहां पर आप example बात कर सकते हो Let's say the example of maritime navigation. That is navigation, navigation through navigation through boats. ठीक है Let's talk about it. If you say, see, we have like ancient civilizations like Egyptian civilization, then IVC civilization, even your uh, primitive primitive tribes are also there. Okay. So if you look at all of them, see the mode of maritime navigation, the kind of boats they use, they vary. It may be long boat, it may be a canoe, it may be a modern boat. They vary. so how even the material which is used there varies how these variations are there see all of them the path of coming to that boat making it may be different somebody may be using the wood some may be may be using the some other tree let's say coconut tree se banaya hua ya kuch aur se tree se banaya hua so wahan par jo path wo le raha hai that may be different that's maybe because of the material which is available there historically kya material available hai historically unke paas kya knowledge hai and what purpose ke liye chahiye kuch log ke fishing ke liye chahiye hota hai kuch log ke liye long distance ke liye kuch log ke liye trade karne ke liye chahiye hota hai so this also depends upon the kind of material available the need of it ठीक है सो इस तरीके से वहां पर वो इवॉल्व होकर आया है दैट्स जस्ट एग्जांपल वी कैन गिव ठीक है सो फॉर दिस ही सजेस्टेड कैरिंग आउट दैट डिटेल्ड रीजनल स्टडीज ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल कल्चर्स फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पर एक और एग्जांपल देखो मिरर का देखो द यूज ऑफ मिरर इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन पीपल भी मिरर यूज करते थे दे आर ऑल्सो फैशनल फैशनेबल बींग्स बट वहां का मिरर जो है वी फाउंड कॉपर मिरर बट मॉडर्न पीपल वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग द मिर बट वी यूज द मिर मेड आउट ऑफ ग्लास ठीक है सो इज देयर दैट यूनिटी डिड यू से दैट इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन का पीपल अब तक जिंदा होता दे वुड ऑल्सो यूज दिस ग्लास मिरर ठीक है कैन वी से दैट नो वी कैन नॉट से इट सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ मटेरियल दैट इज अवेलेबल एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज दे हैव सी मॉडर्न पीपल वी हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ लाइक मेकिंग ग्लास आउट ऑफ सिलिका एंड देन नो यूजिंग इट फॉर यूर नो लाइक वट एवर द पर्पज दट यू यूज फॉर uh for you use the mirror but if you come to indus valley civilization so to them even if we say glass is made like this the knowledge if they do not have the knowledge they cannot make out of it okay so they are very good with metallurgy and with copper and bronze and all so as a result of it they made proper mirrors and they made bronze mirrors okay so that is that is what the history the history of that particular civilization or society is going to tell us ठीक है, दिस इज वॉट फ्रांस बॉवर्स वॉज एम्फोसाइजिंग थ्रू हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म राइट नाउ सिग्निफिकेंस क्या है इट हेल्प इन एक्सटेंसिव स्टडी ऑफ वेरियस सोसाइटीज बोथ एंशियंट सोसाइटीज एंड कंटेम्प्रेरी सोसाइटीज यहां पर मॉडर्न एंड प्रिमेटिव मेनली प्रिमेटिव सोसाइटीज को भी स्टडी कर रखा है देन इट प्रोवाइडेड ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा क्योंकि एक्सटेंसिव स्टडीज कर रहे हैं तो ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू दी एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट फर्दर इनका बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स जो है like they continued it even franz bowers he has 
नो इंस्पायर्ड ए होल जनरेशन ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट ठीक है दैट ट्रेंड कंटिन्यूड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट प्रोवाइडेड एन अल्टरनेटिव टू द थीरीज ऑफ एवोल्यूशन एंड डिफ्यूजनिज्म विच वर डोमिनेटिंग इन दैट टाइम्स ठीक है सो देर फोर यू कैन कंक्लूड दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म हेल्प इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग the and understanding and studying a society society culture from that society's historical perspective taking all changes and processes that happened in that society theek hai so is tarike se hum conclude kar sakte hain so these are the two answers which are from your 2021 anthropology paper and rest of the answers will be coming up please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon so that you will get the update as soon as we publish a video okay thank you very much see you in the next session